mountains. I live in a part of the world that's surrounded by mountains. I can't turn my head without finding a bloody hill or a mountain. I suppose those were God's plans for me. To have me grow up around mountains and grow climbing a few too. And that's exactly what I have done. I may have grown up in the body around him, but I fully grown and matured in the mind climbing his mountains. He's had me fight cancer three times, face countless deaths, and lose and, and, and loss of uh, losses in my life. He he's had my childhood dreams taken off me, but at the end of the day, he's made a man. I am always called brave, heroic, kind, genuine, honourable, and so many other kinds of compliments, but I have to try to explain to everyone why I seem to reject them. I have never fought for anyone but myself, therefore I cannot be brave or heroic. I've only been kind because of my religion has taught me. So what impact could I ever make on the world if I was to fake? Or how could I ever be honourable if I was not what I was not honoured to be there? I am me. There is no other way of putting it. Little old Dolan Walsh from Trinity. One body, one mind, with a few other cobwebs and tails thrown in. I've climbed God's mountains, faced many struggles for my life, and dealt with so much loss. And there's so much I'd love to go around to every fool on this planet and open their eyes to the mountains that surround them in life. I can't. But maybe if I shout from mine, they'll pay attention. If I start to accept these compliments, I'm afraid of what I'll become. Will I be braver than ye? Will I be kinder than ye? More genuine than ye? Or more honourable than? A few months left, he said. There it was. I was given a timeline on the rest of my life. No choice, no say, no matter. It was given to me as easy as a dinner. I couldn't believe it, that all I had was 16 years here and soon I began to pay attention to every detail that was going on in this town. I realised that I was fighting for my life and for the third time in four years and this time I have no hope. Yet still I hear of young people committing suicide and I am sorry but it makes me feel nothing but anger. I feel angry that these people choose to take their lives to ruin their families and to leave behind a mess that no one can clean up. Yet I am here with no choice, trying as best I can to prepare my family and friends for what's about to come and leave behind a little mess as possible. I know that most of these people could be going through financial despair and believe me, there is a long way to go before you get to where I am. For these people, no matter how bad life gets, there are no reasons bad enough to make them do this. If they slept on it or looked for help, they could find a solution and that they need to think of the consequences of what they are about to do. So please, as a 16 year old who has no say in his death sentence, who has no choice in the pain he is about to cause and who would take any chance and even a few more months on this planet, appreciate 